it's a terrible morning, uh, especially for everyone here at Triple M. A huge uh, gaping hole has been left in the landscape of FM radio, particularly in Sydney, where Doug Mulray uh, ruled since 1982. And uh, rarely does an entire city uh, get taken by one man, and he was the man. This man is not a dentist. Mm -hmm. This is Doug. Mm. So he actually can show you his face. Mm. It's just that we'd rather not. He is legendary, a legendary radio performer. Uh, as you say, I came from Melbourne. I didn't know much about him, but we knew all about him. Mm. Uh, we knew how huge he was. And for anyone doing comedy, particularly going into radio and breakfast radio, he was considered the, the biggest star in the firmament. And he did rule uh, Sydney Breakfast for a long time. A lot of us who do this for a job uh, owe him a great debt. Uh, he paved the way in many ways. He was a, like got on the FM train as it was leaving the station and just dominated it. He worked with some of the greats. He transformed Triple M Sydney and his impact uh, well reverberated all around Australia. And this is an important passing, uh, and especially for people in our industry. And I imagine there's a lot of people out there in Sydney today who who will pause and think of how he affected their lives and where they were when they heard their favourite bits and the idiocy he got up to over the years. He just, uh, he was a pioneer and a maverick and what he did uh, will probably never be <laughs> surpassed no. in terms of what we're doing. Uh, MG, you would have grown up around him with him on radio what's your thoughts yeah um he was he was the godfather he was the man um, i remember being in uh, about year eight or nine at school and um all of a sudden this this guy come on um this this new fm station called triple m um and it was kind of surround sound and it was just so, something different and the fact that he was pushing the boundary every time he was on radio and um, all, all my vintage and you know we're, we're very similar mickey in in age and our vintage the, that early to mid 50s, um, who grew up with this guy. If you want to hear a man gaveling, go early about pianos, organs, and keyboards, come and see me at Villa Wood. But if you want to hear a great deal on a band, come and see my mate Joyce May. Hello, Chris. She's got loads of bands, she's got big bands. Um, I've I met him on many, many occasions. Um, I used to travel into Bondi to do <clears throat> maybe a, a sport report here or something there. To, to, but the day we, we, in 1991, we were sponsored uh, by Triple M on our sleeve sponsors. Um, and Myself and Brad Fitlow and uh, Greg Alexander and Benny Alexander went into the Triple M studios in, in Bondi and there's a famous photo it was on the front page of the, the Daily Mirror or the Daily Telegraph, whatever it was back then, with basically Doug Mulray with his hands on the heads of Greg, Freddie and Ben and blessing them for the grand final. Um, he was a character. He, he was a quite shy guy away from the, the camera, uh, from the microphone, if, if you will. He was... He was a performer, no doubt. Um, but in his, as soon as he, he kind of hung up the, the headphones, he kind of re, he was a recluse. He, he he headed for the hills, and 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 not much is known about his last ten to fifteen years. But what we do know is that today um, is is a sad, sad day. And it's a, as you mentioned, Mickey, it's never if to even think that something Doug Mulray could be on the radio these days, he'd be off in eight seconds. He'd be gone. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, times have changed. He, uh, <laughs> he was going around in the halcyon days of FM radio where he could do or say just about anything, and he did. Uh, I was fortunate enough to go on his show a couple of times as a guest, and that was always a nerve-wracking experience because anything could happen. Uh, you had to sit on your helmets, basically, <laughs> buckle up and just hang on till the end because uh, he was just always outside the box, he was reclusive. We didn't see much of him in later life. Had to see him getting around still with his wits about him. So, look, there's going to be a lot of love and a lot of people talking about him today. You should. You should enjoy uh, the life and the times of one of the greats, Doug Mulray. I'll cop you later. Bye. It's been fabulous having me at your place. I mean that very sincerely. <laughs>